Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be doing the challenge, the no mirror challenge. So I'm gonna be putting my makeup on with no mirrors. Anything that had a mirror, I blacked it out so I can't see anything. So with that, I'm gonna get started with this. This is gonna be a train wreck, as what I'm assuming it's gonna look like. All right. So who doesn't depend on mirrors? So I'm gonna do my secret weapon step, The mineral sunscreen and I don't do this for protection if you want to know why I do this watch my makeup tutorial and I explain why I do this so I picked a foundation that goes on really easily and this is the Smashbox Halo foundation and I think this would be the best for this challenge I like this because you can blend it with your hands, which during this challenge, I think this is the smartest idea. I don't want to blend it with a brush. All right, wipe the excess off. Make sure everything is blended right. I like to go over it with a beauty blender. This isn't actually a beauty blender brand. This is the L'Oreal sponge. Now you may see me blend extra amount than I usually do. I can't see, so I'm trying to make this look as perfect as possible. Because if I can actually pull this off, blend it down the neck. All right, I think that probably looks good. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer. And this is the Age Rewind Eraser by Maybelline. It's been around forever, it's so good. Go out down the nose, forgot that part. I'm gonna get my, where is it? My brush just to make sure. All right, so next step I usually do is gonna be my contour. It's the one I've been using and loving. It's Makeup by Mario. To do this with my chin. Just in case you're wondering, I'm very pale, so the color I have is light. So how you guys been doing? Have you been doing anything fun lately? If 
you hear something in the background, it's just my sugar bear. She's right next to me on the bed. Watching this train wreck that she's witnessing right now. I wanted to do this video to see a different side of me. I know my videos are really straight to the point and you don't really get to know me very much. If you have any other challenges you would like to, for me to do, put it down below. Some of these challenges are so old, so I'm not sure what you guys still want to see. And if you ever notice, I never have nail polish on or anything. My hands always look beat up. I do weightlifting, so whenever I do my nails, it's chipped. Not to mention house cleaning, serving, not good on the nails. This is blended as possible. Hopefully we don't look too bad right now. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is bronzer. Where's my little tool? This is the Say bronzer. This one, you don't need to be perfect on. This blends out like a dream. This is light bronze. Okay, where's my brush for this? Watch well, I say that you don't need to be precise with it. It's going to look awful because I don't have a mirror. As you see, I'm wearing my most comfiest sweater. Try to comfort me in this moment right now. Blendy, blend, blend, blend. All right. Now I'm going to take this. This is really dirty. This is my go to after I do my bronzer and my contour just to make sure everything is blended in to look seamless. Because even though it's called a beauty blender, I never see these blending really well. That's why I always use brushes and then I finish off with this. And I just like the look of it that it gives your skin. Right, so got that down. Now, what am I gonna do next? As I'm thinking, I'm just gonna blend. I want this to dry a little bit, but I don't wanna turn off the camera because I don't want you to think I'm cheating. All right, put my blender down. Um, So let's do, this is going to be so bad. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. As you see on other videos, I say I don't care about brows. I don't worry about it. This has me worried. <laughs> Try to get 
try to feel. I Before I put it on, I got the Gimme Brow and this is just the gel. I don't want to do a pencil. I thought pencil would be even worse. Trying to feel. Oh, this is so bad I can feel it. <laughs> All right. I'm scared to do more. I'm going to leave it alone because I know this is horrible looking. I don't know anybody that can do their brows without looking. So let me go ahead and put some eyeshadow primer on. Hopefully my skin looks nice at least. And the eye primer I'm using is the Viseart primer. I like this because you don't have to let it dry as long as the Anastasia primer. Have that done. All right. So before I do the eyeshadow, I like to do a small little powder on my face. So I'm gonna grab my powder brush. So just in case some eyeshadow falls, I can brush it away. And this translucent powder is the, well, it's not translucent. The setting powder is the Anastasia, the vanilla color. Just give myself a light powder everywhere. Brush off the excess. All right. So you'll see on the next thing that I grab how I blocked out the mirror so there's no cheating. So I put a towel over it with tape, a little paper towel. So no cheating. Grab my eyeshadow brush. Which color do I want to do? Do a mixture of grays. And this is the Viseart Pro Volume 1, and I'm using this darker gray and this light gray. I may be overly cocky, but I don't think my eyes are going to turn out too bad. Because I think I can do it without a mirror. Have I ever done it? Why would I? And I guess I could have went with a really easy eye look and just do one color all over the lid. But I like dramatic eye looks. So I wanted to stay true of what I would do. I'm going 
give some extra blend to this because when you think you're done blending you should always blend a little longer for me that's this is my case so there's some people that put it on really quick and then you could tell that they could have spent a little more attention on the blending you can't just put it on and be like wham bam you're done it does take some work on a nice eyeshadow look And I know one part of my eye right over here, for some reason, it doesn't like to hold color. So that's one thing I look in the mirror and I fix, but I can't do that today. So what I'm going to do is put the light gray on the lid. So instead of the dark color mixed in, I'm just going to do the light gray. It's a shame using such nice products and it's probably not going to turn out good. And as I'm blending, all I can think of about how bad my eyebrows look right now, which is funny because I'm the person that doesn't care about eyebrows. Now I'm going to go in with, get my glitter glue, this is the NYX glitter glue, put it on the back of my hand, make two little dollops out of it. Let me get my paper towel. So one thing I like to do is if I'm going to re-dip in the glue, the NYX glitter glue, I always like to wipe my finger on a paper towel so I'm getting a clean application of it. I just think it tends to give a really pretty look to your eyeshadow. All right, for the topper, I'm going to, what do I want to use? Can we use one of my favorite products that makes it look I, like I try really hard? Oh, that's not going to really look pretty with that color. I'm going to go with my first instinct. I'm going to use the Hourglass Scattered Light. These eyeshadows are so pretty. Today I can't guarantee it's going to be as pretty as these really are. Wipe my finger off. Alright. A little on a brush just to make sure it's nice and blended.
All right, so that is done. Oop, drop my thing. And the scattered light color is in reflect. Take my eyeshadow brush. This is a Scott Barnes eyeshadow brush. And it's the blender brush. I love it. It's my favorite brush by him. So while I'm blending, I did a bad thing. I went on Scott Barnes site and I was raving about how much I like this brush and I don't think I brought it up here. Yeah, I, yep, I did. And then this is his 61 The Fan eye brush and it's so gorgeous and I love these so much so I bought the 10 piece. So I'm gonna um, get those brushes when they come through the mail because I already ordered them so they should be here soon and do a video on them and tell you if it's worth the coin to spend on it or if certain brushes are better so if only a couple are good that you can buy them save some money on that because his brushes are very expensive but they're very good he can't he hand cuts all of his brushes and you can really tell the quality I've had these two brushes three years and they act like new they wash wonderfully if I put this next to a new brush I can't tell the difference Brush away any eyeshadow that fell. All right, I'm going to do my blush next. this down here, get my blush brush. Now I'm gonna do a technique. I have a little paper towel here and I'm hitting the excess off. I watched Tati's um, video, her secret makeup tips. And I was like, that's brilliant because I smack it off, but I think that still you don't get that even coverage and it look it can look blotchy so I was like why didn't I think of that so I'm stealing her tip that she showed I like to put it on my nose I think that's just so pretty when you mix a blush all over the face like this and then a bronzer and you just look like you've been in the sun. All right. So. I think I did this right. So the next one is going to be bronzer. Oh, the blush, I didn't say. This is the Patrick Ta. She's adorable. This is the NARS bronzer in Laguna. Just in case you were wondering about the colors. This doesn't this face say go run and buy this product? It's performing. <laughs> We all get a good laugh out of this. Just put it all over. I think the eyebrows I was dreading the most and the eyeliner. This is the two steps I was dreading the most of out, out of all this. All 
All right. Now I'm going to go back to the Anastasia setting powder. And I like this powder a lot. If I have to go to work and work in the heat, I need something a bit stronger than this. And that's when I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. But for a regular day, this holds up really nice. It's really pretty. A little trick I like to do to make sure I don't have any wrinkles. Brush it goes right under the eyes. And this is just a bit firmer. This is the Pre Precision Concealer and it's Complex Culture. But just how it shaped, it just fits in perfectly. This is helpful to get in there and I go on the side of the nose. There's areas I have trouble with that needs a little extra powder. Now that I have that on, go on the other side, wipe the excess powder off. Very dry skin, I don't need too much on there. All right, get some of this off of me so you don't have to stare at that. This is enough. <laughs> get some water. Make sure you hydrate. All right. I'm going to take Tati's blend of full sponge that I like. Make sure everything is pressed in. And I like to do this before I add my highlighter on. So I just like how it looks when you press everything in. And yes, I'm doing extra pressing. I usually don't do this much. I have a feeling it looks like a train wreck. Let me tell you the truth. I'm probably just delaying because I don't want to do my dang eyeliner. This is all blended. I like to blend into the hairline. All right. So we're going to do the highlighter next. And I'm going to do the Wander Beauty. And it's after hours. Get my highlighter brush. Excess off, and then I'm gonna just blend it in to make sure it's all nice. Hopefully, not too strong. If you have a mirror and you see it's too strong, you can always take the setting powder, and that will calm it down. All 
All right. I'm not a person to put highlighter on my nose. I always think it looks really funny on me, on other people. I'm like, oh, that's gorgeous. I do it on me. I'm like, oh, good God. All right. So I think we finally came to the point where I'm trying to think of which I'm not using liquid eyeliner. I see that as a disaster. Haven't really tried this one. I think I used it once. It's the Tardis. The liquid eyeliner is god awful on the side. Do not use it. It spiders out. It went everywhere. I had to wash my face and redo my eye look. Okay, feel. I'm gonna probably do a smoke it out look. So it won't look too terrible. I can feel this, it's so bad. So I'm going to grab the milk side because it has a really pretty smudger brush that I like to use. All right, how's that look? Terrible, most likely. An 80% chance. Now I'm gonna blend this like this. For some reason, I just think it needs it. You know what I'm gonna use? Use this fan brush. Just go on the edges. edges of the eye. Now you're probably watching it like, give up woman. It's not gonna get any better. Now they got the edges. I think we're ready for mascara. So I'm gonna do my first coat. This shouldn't be too hard. Right. 
This mascara is the Lash Princess. It's an amazing mascara. It acts like high-end mascara. I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. This is Pat McGrath Realness. Absolutely gorgeous. Alright, I think I did every step, kind of looking everything, make sure I didn't miss anything. Alright, the second step of my mascara is going to be the Thrive, and this is the La Liquid Lash Extensions. I like to do that because it locks in your lashes. Alright, stop speaking, concentrate. I really thought I was going to poke my eye out when I was thinking about doing mascara without a mirror. All right. So what I usually do is clean up the bottom. I usually wait a second for the mascara to dry. Like I said, I don't want to drag this video on. I don't want to pause the video because I don't want you to think I'm cheating. So hopefully it won't do any damage. I'm just going to run it underneath. Oh, there's a lot of black. That's not a good sign. There's a lot of black on there. Now I'm even more scared about looking in the mirror. What am I making you guys look at? I'm about to see. Thank God for mirrors. I never use more than one Q-tip to do the under eye. All right. I think that's as good as I can get it. Now my cameraman, I'm going to ask, there's a mirror behind you, and I'm going to look at it, wipe the dust off, all right, looking at it, my eyebrows are horrible, my skin's not that bad, it's red over here, but I think that's from carrying my dog, she kind of got me. My eyeliner is terrible. So my eyebrows and my eyeliner is terrible. I don't mind my skin. I think my skin looks really nice. Of course, it would look a lot better with a mirror, but I'm not too mad at it. So I'll let you take all this in. Tell me if you think any of this looks good. <laughs> Probably not, but this is my end of my video, so I'm going to go ahead and grab Sugar Bear and we're going to say goodbye. Sugar Bear, come here. Now that you finally got all comfortable, 
So I look forward to seeing you in my next video. If you liked this video, if you thought it was funny, please, it really helps me out, guys. Like and subscribe. Smash that bell so you'll be notified. I put out two videos a week. So if you like what you see, please, again, like and subscribe. You really help my little tiny channel. I really want to grow. And with your help, that's possible. So Sugar Bear, let's say goodbye to all our friends. Bye, guys.